actress Im Chu Dong was uh, with her fans not too long ago, and uh, she was talking about the topic of the movie that she was in, A Tale of Two Sisters. And uh, the reason why they were talking about that particular review is because uh, we, we already celebrate 10 years of that movie. And uh, these days, she is pretty much one of the top actresses in Korea. Uh, she's been getting a lot of awards left and right. But uh, she said that she owes it to her fans for the past 10 years, and she thanks them. And in those 10 years, she has been able to mold herself into an amazing actress. And uh, today, well, we actually celebrated it yesterday, but we're also going to be celebrating it today. So yesterday was our 10th anniversary, and today we're going to continue the celebrations with a very special lineup here on the show. As I bring you two hours of the best K-pop here on Adirang Radio here on K-pop with yours truly, Isaac, and our mascot popcorn in the studio, we've got a lot to cover today. We're going to be calling you. Also, we've got Empire joining us in the second hour as well. But let's get started with our show because I know that a lot of you guys are getting super excited for it. Tasty is singing Ma Ma Ma. Clock. Well, hopefully you guys looked at the clock to tune in, but uh, you're not going to look at the clock anymore because for the next two hours, let's get uh, lost in our own selves and enjoy the show for today. We got a lot in store for you, our listeners, for today. Um, we got a special guest in our second hour. I know it's Monday. Normally it's supposed to be Mandami Day. But to uh, celebrate 10 years of Young Radio, what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun today with Empire, the hot new uh, group that's been getting a lot of love these days. So if you have any questions for Empire, continue to send those in because we're going to try and read all of those in our second hour. Also, uh, for our question for today, since we are talking about 10 years of Adirang Radio, I'm going to ask you guys, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I've been asking a lot of our uh, artists this, but uh, I want to ask you guys as well. Where do you see you guys... Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? And so I was thinking about it, too. For me, since I ask it so much, what am I going to say when uh, I get asked the same question? And you know what? Uh, hopefully, this is a big hope for me, uh, I'll still be doing radio. I would really, really love to still be doing radio. Uh, I feel that... Um, 
I was born to do this job, and uh, I really do enjoy it. And it's something that I get to do every time I come into the studio. I get to communicate with you, the listeners, and you guys really do complete me. And so hopefully I could still be doing radio 10 years from now. Um, as for career wise, you know, there's so many things that I'm ambitious about that, uh, I honestly don't know where the world is going to take me because if you would have told me maybe 15 years ago that I was going to come to Korea and, uh, I would, uh, debut as a singer, um, be a part of a very big company and then move on to do different musicals and also, uh, host a show. Uh, at Arirang Radio, I probably would have called a bluff and I probably would have laughed in your face. But uh, there you go. Uh, it's already been 14 years since I got to Korea and uh, you never know where the world is going to take you, literally. So uh, what we're going to do is hopefully get a chance to find out what you guys want to do in 10 years from now. Uh, I know a lot of people say I want to be married and settle down with having kids. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really going to want to be doing that 10 years from now. <laughs> All right, well, we had a message for Tasty. Effie's saying, really loving this song so much to dance and sing along to. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Uh, speaking of 10 years, it looks like that uh, Hilland is dropping by. Hilland says, well, in 10 months, I'd like to be living uh, in Korea, running a restaurant or street food stand selling delicious food and just watching all the people doing what they do, maybe with a Korean girlfriend. In 10 years, drinking soju and makgeolli uh, while watching the sunset on my own pepper farm in the Korean countryside wow <laughs> and i've been listening to k-pop and um whatever they're going to call it by then now hillen uh you left us your address and everything but you never left us your phone number <laughs> so could you leave us your phone number please we're not gonna stalk you trust me it's just that uh when we send these prizes uh we want the post office to be able to call you guys if there's a problem so that's why <laughs> so please uh send in your um Phone number, please, please. Tang says, 10 years ago, I was in the second year of my university and basically spent the summer vacation overcoming some heartbreaks. Aww. Now I'm working, and the happy thing was that I've uh, just got a promotion, despite not having the best start to my career at this company. 10 years from now, I hope to be happily married with a couple of kids and still doing decently well with my work. Maybe I'm just looking for a simple life. Well, I think that the simpler the goal, the better. And uh, we end up overachieving, probably than normal. Liz is dropping by to say uh, hello after oh, afternoon everyone. I'm cleaning while I'm listening. Yes, it's 4 a.m. here. Oh my goodness, you're cleaning at 4 a.m. <gasps> oh my goodness. And uh, Effie says, happy 10th anniversary to Arirang. Uh, here's to many, many more wonderful years with Arirang. You guys rock. Thank you so much for that message. So yes, uh, Empire is joining us in the second hour, so please continue to send in your questions for them. Some announcements for this week. Uh, Honey G is going to be joining us on Wednesday, and uh, we got GI joining us on Thursday. So for those of you who have any questions for them, you can start sending those in. Continue to send in your ugly truth messages as well. We've been getting a lot of amazing ones these days, so continue to send those in. Also, uh, we would love you guys to continue to send in your votes for a who versus who. Normally, it is who versus who day, and Tommy and I are supposed to be going over this, but we're going to be going over this next week. So, I want our listeners to uh, send in your votes for which male K-pop celebrity do you think is so hot that he probably would get the most phone numbers from girls or hit on the most. Tell us a little bit about that. And uh, we've got a announcement of how to be a part of our programming. For those of you on the beautiful island of Jeju, you can catch us on 88.7 megahertz in Jeju's general region. In Sogipo, it is 88.1. In the Taejong area, it is 101.9. We have our TDMB service and internet access as well. www.arirang.co.kr Again, www.arirang.co.kr uh, You can click on the top left corner, download our Arirang cast or download our free iPhone or free Android application. In our first hour, I'm going to be calling you our listeners. So for those of you who uh, want to 
Stick with us, and you might get called very, very soon. Stand by the phones and be ready. In the meantime, though, uh, it looks like that airplane is back. We were able to interview these guys when they first debuted. Amazing team indeed. Very, very talented. Looks like they released a brand new single. Pick up the phone. We're going to take a listen to this, and I'll see you guys after this in our quiz. TK Trap oh, yeah. about an amazingly talented boy band that just made a comeback. And um, it seems like they are able to... Okay, since their debut, uh, they had a very tight choreography for all of their songs. And this time around, it's no different. Uh, they've even come up with a couple of steps that actually makes it look even more original. Uh, the recent comeback track is Chang Nananya, Rocking. So, uh, very easy. They've got amazing hits like uh, their recent song, Rocking, Chang Nananya, Kin Seng Mori Kunya, Miss Right. Uh, also, Bitsigesa, and many more. Sure. Uh, what is the name of this group? What is the name of this group? Uh, the members, just in case you guys need them, is none other than Cap Neil, 